Another approach to the traveling salesperson problem centers around two problems we can solve easily, finding an Euler's circuit and finding a minimal weight spanning tree. Can we combine the two to get an approximate solution to the traveling salesperson problem? We'll have to do some work. Remember, to be Eulerian, all of a graph's vertices must have even degree. Since any tree has degree 1 vertices, it can't be Eulerian. But the spanning tree for a complete graph could become Eulerian if we add some edges. And since any two vertices in a complete graph are joined by an edge, we can always do this. Let's try it and see what happens. So again, we'll consider our seven cities. Using Prim's algorithm, we found a minimal weight spanning tree consisting of, and notice that Boston, Philadelphia, Montreal, and Atlanta are all degree one vertices. So we want to find a way of connecting these odd degree vertices. So if we use a greedy algorithm, the least weight edges that connect these odd degree vertices are, and if we add those edges, we get a graph with an Euler's circuit, but it's not a Hamilton circuit. So note that if this was an Euler circuit, we'd go through n twice. To make it into a Hamilton circuit, we'll bypass n the second time. This means replacing two edges instant on n with two edges that are not. So which edges do we replace? But note that our algorithm for creating an Euler circuit relies on joining cycles. What that means is we have to be careful which edges we replace because we might disconnect the graph. To avoid disconnecting the graph, we'll want to take two vertices which are adjacent to n but in different cycles. For example, mp could be joined which would replace a 175 pair of edges with a cos 350 edge. Or CEB could be joined, replacing a 125 cost edge with a 200 cost edge. Now, we have to take one of these bypasses, and while both replacements increase the overall cost, the CB replacement increases the cost by less, so we'll take that bypass. This gives us a Hamilton circuit with total weight, which is the best we've found so far, and we might be able to improve it further by switching out our links. The preceding approach is the basis for the christophides serdyukov algorithm. The main differences are the following. We used a greedy algorithm to find a matching between the odd degree vertices. If we could find a minimal weight matching of the odd vertices, and we can, we'd get an even better result. And in fact, there's a peculiarity in our graph. When we look to the bypasses, the MN and NP edges together cost 175, MP bypassed N, but it cost more at 350. And likewise, CN and NB together cost 125, but the CB bypassed cost more at 200. Now, because the cost can be arbitrary, there's nothing really wrong with this, and we often see this in things like airplane fares. However, Euclidean space and other nice geometries satisfy the triangle inequality. The distance with a detour is greater than the direct distance. If the triangle inequality holds for all vertices in our graph, then the christophides serdyukov algorithm produces a result that is no more than 3 halves the minimal Hamilton circuit. And even though our graph doesn't satisfy the triangle inequality, 
we still got our best solution to the traveling salesperson problem yet.